Mm. Nothing better than a snowball on a hot Baltimore summer day, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so good. I'll tell you, man, egg custard is probably my favorite flavor. Yeah, me too, but you think there'd be some, like, egg flavor in it. It's egg custard. No, it's not egg flavored. Well, it's egg custard. You think there'd be some egg in it? Bon appetit, Todd. <laughs> well played, Andy. Well played. All right, everyone, welcome <laughs> back to 21090. I am Andy. This is Todd, and we are happy to be bringing you another in our series of reviews from Heavy Seas 15 Barrel Series, where they've been doing some amazing, really cool stuff, amazing things. Um, and this, this might take the cake so far. So, for those of you, obviously, you know we're from Baltimore, and you probably think of the Orioles and the Ravens and crab cakes and oh, steamed yeah. crabs, but the snowball, the snowball. real snowball, is actually a Baltimore original. Yes. So you can have shaved ice, that's that's not the real deal. Snowballs with a W is what you throw at your friends in the winter. <laughs> um, snow cones are just a little conical thing that just get yeah. all over the place. Yep. Mm -mm. Snowball. A real snowball, and not that New Orleans thing, <laughs> a real snowball comes in a styrofoam cup. Yes. The ice is not too thinly shaved, you gotta actually dig at it a little bit. Crunch it so it actually doesn't get soupy yeah um and it comes with a little bit of marshmallow on top oh, yeah yeah just i mean it's perfect it is a baltimore thing true and true and so they wanted to spotlight that this month and say let's do an egg custard snowball flavored egg custard that's beer. a baltimore thing too yeah. the original flavor for the snowball was egg custard so a little bit on the, on the backstory yeah. of the the snowballs in baltimore back in the 1800s when the ice trucks would go by uh, kids would literally chase down the driver to see if they could get some shavings in the middle of the summer to cool off. Yeah. And when they got some, they would take them home. Uh, their parents would toss flavors in there, one being egg, vanilla, and sugar, mixed it together, and had an egg custard snowball. The origin was born. Mm. And uh, actually, in the Great Depression, uh, snowball stands became infamous all over Baltimore. People would sell them everywhere. Everywhere. Because uh, it was cheap, it was easy. People could buy, you buy them. And, and today, it's still, still cheap, around. easy, and You just went and got these down the street. I did, and they are fantastic. Fantastic. So, uh, when we heard Heavy Seas was coming out with a summer treat uh, spotlight, I, I had this feeling. Like, you did. When they announced, be, you know, can snowball. you guess what it's going to be? You said, I bet it's a snowball. I'm like, no. It's, it's, it's a Baltimore thing. Boom. So I was stoked. So this That's is really awesome. cool. This is this this takes me back to childhood, playing ball, going to get in the snowball afterwards. And now in adulthood we get to have it in an alcoholic beverage. I mean So mm. I, look, this sounds this sounds really cool. So Todd, tell us a little bit about the beer itself. The beer is called B More Snowball, an A Custard Blonde Ale. And then look at the can art. We gotta give O Murphy at uh, One Drop Studios. Oh, yeah. I mean he's been doing all yeah, the props. can art. They've been cool. I mean look at that They've can been art. Cool. Uh, it's just amazing. It's it kind of encapsulates what Baltimore the hun is all yeah, about. Yeah, a little hun on the side with I mean, a big uh, bouffant hairdo. With the egg custard and marshmallow, just yeah. like we have here. Hun That's fest. it. So this is a blonde ale. Um, Use Maris Otter, a little bit of Streisbalt uh, hops, just a little bit. But the main ingredient here is especially supposed to be the vanilla. Mm -hmm. Tons of vanilla, a little bit of nutmeg, yep. uh, a little bit of cinnamon. Egg custard is a vanilla forward yeah. rich. Uh, tasting vanilla kind of flavor, and so to yeah. duplicate that in a beer, not easy. But no. honestly, let's be honest. Probably if someone's going to get it right, too. I'll bet you, I'll bet you it's heavy C. Let's so try. Let's, let's get into let's it. Take a look at it. Let's, so let's, um, it looks a custardy. Is that a word? It is now. It is now. I mean, it <laughs> is a sort of yellowish, golden hue to it. Let's take a look at that, man. You can get the vanilla on the nose. Yeah. Now that it's warmed up. Yeah. So you can totally. still. Sweetness. You get the presence of a beer, which is yep, nice. You do. But you definitely wow. you know, those those vanilla notes are hopping out. They actually. are now. The hops Whoa. are completely subdued. Well, behind, there's hardly which is, any hops which is in nice. here. You know, it's just hardly really, any. The malts are subdued too. This is that all vanilla. Smells really good. We opened this probably ten minutes ago, and I didn't get a lot of smell off it. I smell more of the beer. Yeah, now that's warmed up. up this is, this is so let it warm up. There's well, aromas uh, are coming through. This, yeah, man. cheers. Hang on. Dive in. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Beemore, hon. <laughs> a 
That's cool. Isn't that cool? That's that's vanilla. Cool. Yeah. Big time vanilla on it. Great mouthfeel. It's kind of you know, sort of medium, but for a blonde ale, which is usually a really thinner beer, mm -hmm. it's not so much. I assume that's probably from all the adjuncts they're putting in here. I don't know. They use Maris Otter um, for the grain, but it is. What's cool about this is it 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 starts off like maybe an egg custard snowball, but it finishes like a beer. Boom. Yep. I think that's what's cool. So so up vanilla. front you're getting the vanilla. You make it a little bit of that spice. This is really cool. And then on the back end, when it washes back, you get a beer, which is actually nice. The other way around, too much sweetness on the back end, you may not want to dive back in. Mm -hmm. This makes you want to come back and take another sip, another sip. And it, at low ABV on this, so you can have a couple. This is wow, a nice summertime beer. So yeah, you get that breadiness on the end. That's where that beer, sort of, mm -hmm. I, I guess, from the malts. But right up front, you get that sweetness from all that vanilla. And they supposed to use a lot of vanilla It works in this. well. Really this, well. This play is pretty cool. Genius because, idea. Yeah. Again, I'm, I'm just, I think <laughs> it's some of the beers we reviewed before yeah. that, that struggle to get the, the flavor component right to balance it out with the beer. But this has done well. It's done really well. This we we said well. that a lot about Heavy Seas. They, they do great work. And again, if you're not in the Baltimore area, you're not going to be able to get this. This is uh, being released this Friday, mm -hmm. 3 p.m. at the Heavy Seas Brewery. They have the release. It's probably going to go pretty quick. Yeah. This has been really publicized. I think people really in this area yeah. are very interested in this beer, and rightfully so. Yeah, it's a, this, is, this is synonymous with Baltimore. Yeah. And so I, I have a feeling this isn't going to last long. And like mm. all the 15-barrel stuff, when it's gone, it's gone. Um, so we're going to go and get our hands on a few more. Because mm -hmm. this is really cool. This is not something you're probably going to see very often. Um, I think we're going to have to rank these. You know, we've done now I, I four or five that. of these. I think we I think can do we, that. We might have to I go, will say yeah. this is one of the more impressive of the lot. It's certainly both in oh, idea yeah. and in the way Execution. the flavors yeah. came across together. I'm just crushing this. Um, I think that's. <laughs> I, mean, I think this that is, is this is intent. really good, but yeah, two oh, Baltimore God. exclusives. You won't get a snowball, a real one, without the W anywhere else but here. That's impressive. In Maryland, and you're not going to get this anywhere else either unless you travel. So, but worth the trip. Come to Heavy Seas. Yeah. See your friends over there. They're doing amazing, Thanks, amazing bro. work. And this yeah. is just another notch on the belt in this series because this, this has been cool. Yeah. This, this is a fun one. Um, if you like what you see from 21090, as always, please hit that subscribe button and click that bell in the corner. It's going to let you know every time we've got a brand new video. Certainly. We've got Instagram, we've got Twitter, and Untapped. And of course, we're going to put this puppy on there and tell you just what we thought about it. 100%. But I think you can tell we liked it. Yeah. Definitely. So <laughs> until next time, um, thanks for tuning in, and we will see you soon. Sure. Thanks. Cheers, guys. Cheers, buddy. Oh. We definitely need more.